Hello blog. Um, so I wanted to do a quick video on uh, the library linking system in Blender and how we're using it uh, for for Dorian because um, it's something that uh, I had never used before and I consider myself a fairly capable Blender user and uh, it is awesome and extremely powerful and um, really sort of a, an essential thing to know about I think um, when you know using Blender in your day-to-day -day life or uh, productions whatever so here we go basically uh, just to fill you in a little bit on how we're organizing our directory structure we've got we're using subversion which is uh, SVN a quite awesome technology which I also didn't know about which allows us to basically all work on um, local copies of the entire directory and as we make changes to it we commit it commit a single file um, to a server that we have here and uh, basically that's how we track changes so uh, when I change a file or add a file or you know do some work I commit my work goes to the server and then when these guys update um, they download the changes uh, so we're all pretty much working with uh, local copies of the entire directory which is quite cool um, and so we are organizing um, our directory like so. We've got uh, four folders and within pro which stands for production we've got all of our uh, like intense stuff so characters, environments, props um, scenes, etc. And within characters, we have our characters. Um, so if I can show you real quick, uh, this is Sintel, and um, this is what the file looks like. And uh, this is where Nathan rigged um, rigged her, and also where um, a few weeks ago Angela modeled. Um, and basically, we can take a look at already the files that we've um, created that uh, that refer to this file using an awesome little tool called Blender Aid, um, which I saw at the Blender conference this year. It's quite awesome. It's a Python-based thing, and it allows you to take a look at all the files in a production repository, whatever. Um, so if we take a look here and find Sintel. We can see um, all the references. So basically, all of these files, each one of these is a separate blend file, refers to Sintel, or Sintel is in them. And uh, this is a problem that we'll deal with. Um, we can also take a look at. Hi, Lee! <laughs> we can also take a look at uh, Dependency Viewer. What is that? Yeah, about the same. Anyway, uh, it's used in a lot of files and basically when I'm creating um, a layout file um, basically the process is like so. Open up a new file and link in Sintel from uh, that blend file we just took a look at, Sintel.blend and we're only linking in groups for this project so no objects, no um, scenes it's basically always groups and Sintel Simple is a group and if actually I'll switch to another um, view desktop here you can see that both this object geometry and uh, the rig is in a group in the object panel Sintel Simple so that's what I'm going to link in right here link and here we go, Sintel is in our file and currently you can't go into edit mode, you can't edit it, you can't pose her but if you go to object make proxy or control alt p fine, make proxy you get a list of all these objects that you can link in one of them is the rig and once you've done that suddenly she's posable and this means that basically uh, it's linking in it's, it's referring to the other blend file quite awesome and if uh, Nathan for example makes a change on the rig and 
commits his changes to SVN and I update, um, this file that I've been working on for a week will just automatically uh, update as well, which is quite nice. Um, so here we've got Cintel. Let's bring in a um, a guardian. How about group guardian and his staff? We've got this new thing called instance groups. Um, a little feature Campbell added, so it automatically brings them in. Before you had to um, go to the add menu and manually group instance, but this is pretty handy. And same thing with control alt p. Doesn't work for some reason. Rig. So now we've got two posable characters in here and his la little staff. And let's put them in an environment, let's say. Um, one really cool thing that we've also done is have, we have swappable groups in our environment fo folders. We've got, or files, we've got a low resolution proxy version um, that we can animate with. And we have high resolution for ren rendering and stuff. So if we go into the mvcity directory, um, we have a file called chicken run whip, which uh, is a little misleading, but um, chicken run proxy. This is really our, our city market environment. And as you can see, it's sort of laid out um, with some uh, blocky geometry to show where these characters could move. Um, but the cool thing is, if I linked in the high resolution version of this um, scene, and I will turn off instance groups, link it in. I can go into the uh, object buttons, and down here it says duplication. So in the group uh, field, I can just swap it with this other group, and suddenly it's going to take some time because it's actually linking in. Uh, dozens of uh, of files, and I'll show you this in a second. Um, bam! We have updated to the full resolution environment, and just drops right in where it's supposed to be. And um, so this is basically how we're choosing to work. Um, you know, I'm laying out scenes with basic. Uh, environment and basic blocking and basic cameras and um, and then it will be animated and lit and rendered in this in this file and the nice thing about this is that file sizes are really small because this is only referring to other files and so it's only animation and camera data that exists in this file quite nice um, so if we can fly through here real quick this is some stuff that Ben and Zinka have been working on do, do, do. And as you can see, we've got tons of uh, cool stuff lying around. And each of these is actually linked in from other files. So we've got this file, which links in this big group, which is the whole environment. Then in the environment file, we have LinkedIn props. So if I can show you real quick, prop city, market props. These are the individual props that were modeled, you know, separately for use in that scene. We've got some nice stuff. All ben modeled most of this. Um, you know, squashes. Oh, look, proportional editing in object mode. Pretty cool. And then those props were each linked in. If you notice, each one of these actually has a group so that we can link it in. Um, so if we open up Chicken Run, this is the environment uh, where everything was sort of laid out. Um, and so these individual bobs were linked in from those files. So anyway, it's just sort of, you can link in with multiple levels recursively, and uh, it's quite, quite nice. So um, 
yeah, this is just a little bit about how we are choosing to work. Um, and uh, both things that I thought were pretty cool and I didn't know about. Um, so yes, experiment with, uh, with library linking and uh, probably have more videos for you later. See ya.